Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. And uh, just another big down, big up day, big confusion. Ended up with a red pin bar, but that is the third day where we've got these extended tails to the downside, and that's an indication that we have some buyers coming in. So um, we are in a downward trend. I'm on the daily chart now. We are in a downward trend at the moment, but the rate of for me still stays the same. There's the level that we need to pay attention for breaks to the upside, there's a level that we need to pay attention for breaks to the downside. So if we start drilling down through the time frames, you can see that's the, the block that we drew in yesterday. We did gap up and get a rejection here of the 155, uh, but there was no real signal that uh, we needed to pay attention to this. If you look at the levels, that would have been the level we wanted to, to reject. We didn't get it. So at the moment, uh, we are just hovering around here above and below the moving averages on the three hour. Nothing really to write home about except this diversions here. So price is slightly lower than the previous low, but the oscillators are not and have crossed over. So um, that is a signal that you possibly should be looking for structure to the upside. When we get to the hour, complete different story. You can see big move down, big move up, back into the moving averages here pure chaos, and then oscillators grip the upside. Looking, um, that's indicating we're looking for some kind of a move to the downside. Uh, personally, 15 minutes is probably the way to go again. And what you're looking for, look at this bit of structure that's forming here. So you can see we are just hovering, and I'm gonna use this level here. We're just hovering on these swing lows from the public holiday. You can see how the you know, price tends to to respect them. And at the moment, we've got a solid grouping of the moving averages with, a, uh, with the oscillators starting to sort of uh, move to the downside, but they are separated. So I would argue, and this is a gamble, to be honest, those are the two areas I'd want to be paying attention to today. So if we can get above uh, 39.70, find some support there, I'd expect a continuation to the upside, um, at least to test that area there, which is 31.172, uh, which to me is probably going to set up a range. Bear in mind, we've got non-farm payrolls coming out on Friday, so, Sometime we are going to start just waiting for the noise before we start moving. So sometime this week, and normally it happens from sort of late Wednesday, uh, early Thursday time frame, where we start just heading into a range, waiting for that data. So the the downside opportunity here is 38.79. I'm a bit cautious of the downside just based on how the buyers are coming in off the bottom here. So a little bit cautious with that. I think um, that's kind of the structure that I have at the moment. It could also be forming a little bit of a flag. So what I mean by that is there is the downward trend line. So what you'd find, we don't have a fracture for the top, so there's nothing really set up at the moment, but something like that. So in other words, back up the top here, reject down below, up, and then you know then you need to pay attention to that structure. But for me, this is the the short, not well, about short's the wrong word, but uh, the quick uh, the quick trade, should we say? So it's a hundred point gain for possibly 185 point, sorry, 100 point risk for 185 point gain, and you're probably going to have a similar kind of setup to the downside because that would be. The closest area there and you can see pretty much equidistance that's also that's around 200 points so fairly similar so that's kind of my view on the on the dow at the moment but as i said you know, for proper trade to start forming we need to get above 31172 find support up there uh, before a move up to the top of the bigger range that i'm seeing um, it could potentially be forming anyway. But that's kind of my view today. And uh, pay attention to the highs of yesterday because that's the high of the pin bar. So, you know, we get a daily close above 
this high, double top of yesterday, then that's game on. You're definitely looking for a continuation higher up. Anyway, that's kind of my view today. I hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.